This new trailer for The Acolyte might have just revealed the next Jedi to be murdered in the upcoming episodes of this show. After we've already seen our main character of May, it's gonna be May. kill Master Indara in the opening scene of episode 1, and poison Master Torben in episode 2, the next Jedi who is going to die has just been revealed. And it's Kelnaka. I know, I know, everybody loves the Wookiee Jedi, and we've only had one scene with him so far, but the same can be said about Master Indara and Torben. But just like those two characters, Kelnaka is going to get a lot more screen time in flashbacks. But we'll get to that towards the end of the video. But let's talk about why I am so certain that Kelnaka will die in one of the next two episodes. This new trailer, along with this cover of Empire Magazine, gives us the missing piece to suggest that Kelnaka will be the next Jedi to be murdered by May. It's gonna be me. How? Well, the end of episode 2 showed us that May and Kaimir are on their way to the planet of Kofar. This is the planet where Kalnaka is on the outpost for the Jedi, living in what looks to be Shrek's swamp. But that's clearly not enough evidence to support that Kalnaka's just gonna die in one of the next two episodes. Because although we've seen May kill a couple Jedi, those were kind of on technicalities. One Jedi killed himself, and the other Jedi May just outsmarted. We're talking about a Wookiee Jedi, who could easily either rip May's arm off or use the force to stop her. But this new 15 second trailer just showed us a few frames too many and gave us just enough information to assume that Kelnaka is going to die. And this is the scene. We see Jackie, who is the Padawan to Master's soul, fighting one on one versus our mysterious Mass Sith Lord, who has been appropriately titled Darth Zipperface. Jackie is fighting Darth Zipperface by herself, even though in multiple trailers we can see eight Jedi fighting against Darth Zipperface. And Jackie in this scene is using two lightsabers. And from what we've seen from the first two episodes, she only owns one. She's not like Ahsoka Tano, she only wields one blade. Meaning she has picked one of these lightsabers up off the ground. And you might be saying, Mike, that doesn't mean it's Kelnaka's lightsaber, it could be any other lightsaber on the ground. Like you just said, there are seven other Jedi there with her. Yes, that's true, but let's take a closer look at this lightsaber. Because recently, Empire Magazine just released this cover photo, showing off a few of the main characters of this Acolyte show one of them being Kalnaka. And as clear as day, you can see Kalnaka's lightsaber looks like this. A very noticeable design with this strap going over the blade. And if we go back to this new trailer, you can see that same strap with the same lightsaber. Now, Jackie using two lightsabers, one of them just happening to be Kalnaka's, doesn't necessarily mean that Kalnaka is 100% going to die in the upcoming two episodes. However, it is very likely. Like I said before, May and Kaimir are on their way to this planet to murder Kalnaka. And like I said before, there are eight Jedi in this forest fighting against Darth Zipperface. Not a single one of them is a Wookiee. To me, all signs are pointing to this death of the Wookiee Jedi. And not only that, it will make the stakes even higher with this show, because although May has killed Master Indara and convinced Torben to drink this poison by himself, if she kills a Wookiee Jedi, we're going to truly see how powerful May really is with the Force and how evil she can be by murdering a third Jedi. It's gonna be me. And like I said at the top of the video, it's likely that this could happen in one of the next two episodes. It's not confirmed that episode three is going to show May and Kaimir showing up on Kofar and murdering Kalnaka. It's actually more likely that episode three will be all about flashbacks to 16 years ago on Brendok when May kills her entire family. Or at least that's what Master Soul believes happened. In episode two, it's revealed that Soul and Osha thought May was dead for 16 years. And May thought Osha was dead for 16 years. So whatever happened 16 years ago on Brendok, it's going to be extremely important. And it's going to show us the reason that May is hunting down these specific four Jedi. And why Master Torben was so broken up about what happened 16 years ago that he voluntarily took poison to end his own life. So I would say it's more likely that episode 3 has been reserved for flashbacks. And that's when we'll get a lot more screen time for Kelnaka, Master Indara, and Master Torben. They'll all just look a little bit younger. Which will most likely allow us to see Kelnaka's murder at the end of episode 3 or at the beginning of episode 4. Setting the stakes even higher and allowing Jackie to pick up Kelnaka's lightsaber and use both hers and Kelnaka's to fight against Darth Zipperface. But that only takes us to episode 4 of this 8 episode series. 
And if we see this massive battle between eight Jedi and Darth Zipperface in this forest, like all the trailers have been teasing, in episode four, what is coming in the next four episodes to end the show? There is so much mystery around this Acolyte show, and it really gets me excited to see what's coming next. But tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Kelnaka will die in the upcoming two episodes? Or, even though he's not in any other scenes that aren't flashbacks, do you think Kelnaka will live? Tell me what you think in the comment section below, and there might have been some other things that you could have missed in those first two episodes, but don't worry, I broke down all of it in this video right here.